Well, it's time for an update on my Campanotus consobrinus colony or Queen Scarlet. Some really exciting stuff has happened that I've never seen before in one of my colonies. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So stay tuned right to the end. Let's get started. So it's been a while since I've done an update on these guys. Um, their colony has expanded quite quickly. The weather's been nice and warm here. Uh, so there's plenty of brood, plenty of uh, development in that brood as well. Lots of workers uh, have been generated. So let's have a look at the nest. So here we go. They're growing, outgrowing this nest. Uh, there's not a lot of room left. The bottom half there you can see is packed full of brood all at different stages. See the queen there in the middle as well. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of an upgrade with these guys, I think. Um, we're probably getting up in the order of a couple of hundred workers now. Plenty of soldiers in here uh, that are defending there as well, which is a good sign of a healthy colony. So you can see here on the left, I've got the uh, test tube with some water attached um, to give it a bit of extra hydration and humidity in the outworld there, um, which they like. But what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to try and expand this a little bit. You can see the outworld they use quite a lot here. Um, they love that outworld. So let's have a closer look now at their colony. So here you go, all the abdomens are quite full. Um, so they've been drinking that sugar water. So if you've, you've probably seen the uh, different videos on these guys, there's quite a lot of them um, on my channel here. These are a beautiful ant, this colony I've had for just over two years now. There's the queen, Queen Scarlet. She is doing really well. These are beautiful workers. You can see that uh, band, that light band color on the top of the abdomen there. Uh, that uh, shows that this is the banded sugar ant, the Campanotus consobrinus. Uh, there's another one that's very similar looking, which is the Campanotus nigriceps, and their abdomen's actually pretty much quite all, all black, black or very dark colors as well. Here we can see one of the uh, soldiers there. The soldiers are huge. They're beautiful looking, aren't they? So it's some nice macro footage for you guys to enjoy. So inside the nest, the workers are constantly tending to that brood. You can see one here with an egg in its jaws there, just very delicately moving that around. Now they're constantly cleaning and providing moisture for the different eggs and larvae, pupae, the different stages there as well. Constantly looking after them, making sure that they're developed there's nothing growing on them as well, and they need to be kept moist. That's why quite often the nest needs to be nice and humid. So making sure those sponges um, are moistened as well, that releases that humidity out into the chamber there, as well as providing um, a little bit of water there for the colony to drink. So you can see they're fairly well packed into this nest, aren't they? They are ready for a bit of an upgrade which is where something interesting comes in. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close up on that in a second, but I'll just take you around this uh, nest a little bit more so you can see these ants up nice and close. Hey, did you guys see that? That's a pair of wings. Look what's hiding under there. How cool is this? We have some elates and this looks like a queen elate with her wings just hiding underneath all the workers there guarded by a big soldier there on top as well how cool is that look at the size of her so this is really exciting i haven't had this before in one of my colonies so i'm really happy to share this with you guys so you can see it um, see the elate there now there's actually a few of them so in total there's five that are in this colony which is exciting news for me i'm so happy that I can get the colony to this stage where they're healthy enough and big enough that they're starting to produce elates. Now there's no males at all, just these virgin queens like you can see with that one. So we'll go hunting and we'll have a little bit of a search and I'll show you a little bit more on these guys. Okay, so there's one there you can see, again in another part of the nest. So what I've done here on the left here, you can see another little nest I've added there just to give them a little bit more space because they really were outgrowing this nest. Just to give me a little bit more time while I worked on a new one. 
There we go, you can see uh, one of the elates there, one of the queens with her wings. Give it a little bit more space. Okay, so let's have a little look at this uh, added nest. Again, you can see in here we've got one, two, that three, three uh, queen elates in there as well. So they're using it straight away, which is really good. They've packed that out, so they definitely need it. Oh, look, there's one out and about as well, having an explorer in the outworld. Now, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with this. Um, at this stage of filming, um, they were, you know, all five or six would come out quite often into the outworld, especially in the evening to have a little look around. Um, so I just left it like that for a little while just to see if they would try and climb up or try and fly out. Um, I had them in there for quite a while, a couple of weeks. So what I've actually decided to do was I, I picked them up one at a time and took them out of the nest just to see how they'd respond. And they pretty much flew away straight away and went out. So it must have been time. Uh, there were nuptial flights around here at the time of the Campanotus consubrina species. So I knew it was their time to fly. So I actually let them go. These elates can be uh, quite a bit of uh, pressure on a nest because they serve no purpose as far as keeping the existing colony going. They're just resource hungry. They soak up food. So keeping the elates in the nest like this can actually be a burden on the colony. So I wanted to make sure that they were gone so they weren't affecting the health of this colony. So that's why I let them go. But it was fantastic to be able to capture it, uh, as you can see here, which is great. So I'll leave you with a little bit of footage here and then we'll come back and I'll show you another exciting thing that I'm gonna do with these guys. Okay, because the colony's got to such a large size, time for an upgrade. So this is what I'm working on. It's a, it's a Waitong nest that I'm carving out myself. Um, this is the sort of design that I'm going for. But anyway, it'll give them a lot more room, as you can see here, as I put it up in a cons comparison there with the acrylic nest they're currently in. Um, I didn't particularly want to buy a new acrylic nest at this stage. It can be a little bit expensive, so I wanted to experiment with a Waitong nest. So I'm going to try and finish this one off. And in part two of this update, that's when I'll have that new nest installed. So hopefully that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks for you guys to have a look at as well. So that'll be exciting. Well, I hope you've enjoyed part one of this update on my Campanotus consubrinus colony, Queen Scarlet. Uh, there's quite a bit that's been happening so far, isn't there, with this colony? Uh, many more exciting things to come ahead in the future as well. So thank you very much for watching this far. If you have, please uh, share this video with people, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I've got a giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers. So stay tuned for that one as well. Thanks very much for watching everybody and happy ant keeping.